All right, so this is the next uh, Aetherade season. We're in light season this time. Uh, in contrast to one of the other, um, I think the, I think I think it was the last one where I only had one attack. I think I might have three attacks this time. Uh, Twenty, so I can go two for one hundred. If I get the pots on both of them, it's twenty and twenty, so it puts me up to sixty, which means I'll have enough for a half attack. Uh, that being said, however. Uh, it's looking like I might not hit tier 27 this week. So if I'm successful in the next two attacks, 100% like, you know, I perfect them. Um, that's 660 points, which puts me right here with 660 here. gives me to 13, 13,120 13, uh, something. 13,120, so it puts me right here. Uh, even if I had another 100 worth of attack for another 330, yeah, okay, so it, it would work, but I only have a 50, when I reach, if I reach this part, I only have 50 uh, Aether to do a standard attack, I'll only get like 160 something, uh, 120 plus 160 is only uh, 280, uh, so I'll be missing this by about 120, which kind of sucks, I don't remember, uh, yeah. Something like that. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, let's just get in there. Uh, I don't have any... Uh, I took it out because I don't have any more... Um, uh, any more escape ladder. And usually, so usually you don't want to do this without, like... You don't want to double up without the escape ladder. But this will take a really long time if I have to do, like, five attacks. So... Um, and it already takes uh, an excruciatingly long period of time anyway. Um, so let's just go in there with that double attack. Because uh, ultimately, to me anyway, um, what it comes down to is you either make it to tier 27 or you don't. So, uh, of course, you want to like get the uh, the Aether along the way. Or you want to get like the rewards, you know, depending on how, what tier you want to get as high as possible. But like to me, I'm not really into like having the... The consolation prize of oh well I didn't make it to tier twenty seven but at least I made it to this far so I, I don't really care about the uh, that standing anyway uh, so let's just take a look at what we have here this defense seems pretty standard um, just Veronica so the main threat is obviously just going to be Reinhardt um, so I think and I think I was already going to do that but I think I'm just going to run. Uh, yeah, see, so this is why you need, you really want a physical threat here to to push against some of this. Um, I think, so what I'm going to do here is maybe, ultimately I'm, I'm bringing Micaiah, I think. Uh, whether, which Micaiah, I'm still debating here. So both of them would be pretty good. Uh, I like green Micaiah. Because, well, green is going to counter that blue. But I think regular Micaiah has so much res that I don't have to worry about it. So, hmm. The, the, my main problem is going to be that um, I, need to, I really need to take out, what's her name over there? Uh, Veronica. Because... Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do here is put Micaiah here and then like push her here or something, like dance her and then make her walk all the way here and then just take out her. Uh, and then he should attack and then she'll like, maybe she'll dance him or she'll move something. But basically the, the fact that they put this here basically protects me. Uh, so it's actually more beneficial for me than it is for them. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. Let's see what we have here. So 49 plus 12 is 59, 62, 62 attack. Uh, Dire Thunder doesn't give him any more attack. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. Uh, the steam is just really low, so maybe I'm just overthinking it regardless. Uh, it has to do with like my rank too. I'm in like 16,000 place. Usually I'm around like 10,000 or 6,000. Uh, but we'll see how this goes regardless. Uh, let's go back here. 
So yeah, so I have a lot. I have enough teams. I have. I can either bring Brave Makaya, or I can bring the Colorless Mikaya. You really want to bring them in with a purpose. Brave Mikai, obviously, like she's just generally good over overall because she makes she gives you like a one turn like win button. But you you still don't want to just choose her just just because you want to really think about these sort of things, especially because like I said, you don't want to like go in here assuming that you're just gonna destroy them. You really want to think about um, what you're doing here. Uh, so let's see, we've got Joyful Vows, Sacrifice, Glimmer. Tax, tax Res Push gets me to 45. 45 plus this is 50. Plus this is 54. So 54 Res. Uh, she can't double him. But I, might, I probably uh, actually I won't really need to considering I have a um, cab effectiveness. Um, yeah, this doesn't seem too bad. I'm probably just going to uh, this one. Now this one's kind of irritating. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is run colorless Mikaya. Uh, let's do that. Uh, da -da -da, is this the right team? Yes. Actually, I have another. I think if you saw my summoning video, I have another peony. I should make another team. Because I have this team that has two peonies and an air, but I think I should make like a, another team here at the end that has two peonies instead of an air. So then I can have another unit here. I don't know what I'd put there. I don't know how useful it would be, but like sometimes it's like, I mean, a lot of times air, you're not really going, you're not really going to use air for anything. Um, she's just kind of there, but yeah, so I mean, you know, maybe double peonies might be useful for something um, And this is actually in, in not in a good position for me like if it was swapped with this healing tower It would be able to hit her which to me right now is the only problem I have is maybe I won't be able to kill her Because he'll die she'll die uh, She'll die she'll die he'll die because I have tank effectiveness and then um, her, I'll have to find, I mean, Air might be able to take her out. She usually tends to be able to be pretty good against uh, Sothis's, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And then he obviously is going to be, well, he's got 44 res, so, you know, he might be able to do something. But yeah, let's get over here. Um, okay. Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of, like, it's, it's usually, uh, well, let's actually, let's swap spaces again here. This is usually kind of irritating, like, there isn't really a unit I hate more on um, on defense than Veronica. Well, that's a lie, actually. It's between Veronica and... Uh, well, what was here? What did I pop? I popped something. That's good. Uh, let's put you here. Do there. Actually, I'll do this for quick settings. His voice is a weird echo. I mean, I guess it's because it's like being echoed with uh, what's his name. Um, I'll put her there. Right. Yeah. Put you here. Uh, I, I, w I really wanted to put Loki right under, like, I wanted to put them the way I had them there at the beginning of the turn because uh, I wanted her to get her uh, her this attack, uh, attack res oath off. But sort of thinking about it now, maybe I should have just, I need to, I probably should have found, tried to find some way to put uh, Peony there because she has the plus seven. That's fine. She already, like I said, she already has like a an exorbitant amount of uh, res anyway, so. It's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, so basically what what is winning this situation here is the fact that, like, these buildings are, are blocking off so much of what he could be, like, his range. Like, he could be able to... Normally, I'd maybe put her here, and if this wasn't here, he'd be able to come here and hit her anyway, right? 
Um, but yeah, it's just these building placements were kind of weird. She just uh, rains diamonds on everybody there. Uh, okay, so he's gonna come and try to hit her. Hopefully, it's not successful. Uh, we'll move this here. Move you here. Uh, let's go over here. So, attack for six. And then I'm gonna hit him for a bunch. It was 83, it was like 120 something. Yeah, 124. Uh, so, okay. So now, uh, Boki can just take over and do her thing here. Uh, let's just hit this. Uh, I don't know why these two didn't move. It seems kind of weird. I'm trying to be, like, efficient with my movement, right? Because this could get kind of fishy really quickly. I'm just wasting turns for no reason. Okay, so let's do this. And that's not going to kill him, so that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to do this here. Okay, so I dropped him by seven, so maybe I can kill him now. There we go. Uh, and she can't reach this, so she's gonna stand here and do nothing. Twenty-nine. Okay. I want to put her here and hit her. Okay, so I can just kill her. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, so this is a 50-50 on uh, how irritating she can be. Uh, sometimes she comes out and it's just like a nightmare. Um, but other times it's like you just one shot her and you don't have to worry about it. Um, but that's just, that's also kind of off the back of like Micaiah being so strong. Uh, so let's hit... I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit this. And then let's hit him for 65. Okay. Okay, so that's a, a, a flawless, I guess, a perfect. Um, again, it always comes back to uh, like your bracket where you are in the in the standings. I was so low that um, seven ninety eight, almost eight hundred. I was so low two forty. Okay, so the next one I need to get at least one pot. Uh, if I don't, then you know it'll only be two this time, and that went that. I was so low in the standings, I was like down here somewhere, and my placing was like 16 or was it 12 or something. And like you, you get matched up with like lower people. Uh, and as I mentioned last time, like this is kind of what, what I tend to stick around is 22 and 24. Uh, with with a few tweaks, I think uh, my team should be um, more drastically improved. Um, so it'll keep me here, right? So you, you can still lose 100. There's a there's a quite a generous amount of leeway here. So um, hopefully I'll stay here. Not that this this defense thing is is very useful. It's like you only get a few feathers, um, but you know every, every little bit counts in that in that sense. Um, but yeah, so let's come back here and re retake a look at this. So if I win another one for three thirty, this is let's let's round this up to eight hundred just for the sake of it. So this is eight hundred plus three hundred is a hundred and. Yeah, so this will be 13,100. 13, so it'll be right here. 13,100 plus 30, 13,130. The one after that will be 165. So I'll get, yeah, like 190 something. Or 290 something. But yeah, so let's just go in there uh, and uh, do this. this okay. Okay, so there's a, this one should be slightly more difficult, but it's not as bad as it could be. 
Oh, this guy went all in. This is what I want right here. It's be nice to have a Minerva. Um, she gives out speed, which is kind of interesting. Um, I, I guess my ooh, there we go. See, this is this is a this is what a good flyer ball looks like. Um, uh, given that video I showed last time, so uh, you got RGB here. You got the two. You got your two units uh, covering here, and then you've got um, just a, a dancer because having a dancer can sometimes be bad because like your dancers act kind of stupid sometimes. But or a sing, I guess a singer in this case, but a uh, dancer. Um, but a lot of times it just catches people out and end up like you end up just winning off of like nonsense. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty good defense. Even let's see, yeah. So I can't hit her with magic because she denies magical uh, magical follow up will be reduced by eighty, right? Um, but I guess you could just one shot her. You could try to just one shot her, but it'd be, still be kind of hard considering all uh, the ward stacking. See this in this case, this person values the the. Um, the ward stacking, so increasing survivability at all costs, uh, because like I said, she should be able to get kills on her own anyway, to to a certain degree, um, and like her again, this is to cover any strong greens, and she's got basically she can basically kill anything. Um, I'm not running any tanks, but it doesn't really matter because I don't have any green unit strong enough to tank what she's putting out, and she's got the IO shield, which makes her very strong. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at and see how I can uh, beat this. Uh, so they've got two fortifies, one here and one here. This is what I also put for your dancer on defense. Sometimes like you can, it, it'd be good to run stuff like this, right? So right now he's got 40. So this is 30 defense and 30 and 26 res. Um, but it, it's good to run these sometimes. Uh, because you reduce the attack, which means that she won't, she'll dance more often than she'll attack because she'll be doing so little damage. The AI won't consider attacking. But even like on my Leanne, I have Fort Fortify uh, Fortress Res both of these right here, and she's just so mind-numbingly stupid that she'll attack sometimes anyways with like a thirty-one attack, which is pretty irritating. But <clears throat> it is what it is. It's interesting. Uh, so I have this here. I'm hitting all of them. I always forget to turn my phone off. Um, I'm hitting all of them with my um, bolt tower, uh, but it's all kind of meaningless considering he's got this, and it's a pretty good position. Um, I think, yeah. So it's in a, it's in a very good position. I might just like pop this just to get my movement, keep my movement from being stifled. Uh, but this is going to be a lot harder to get, so I might just have to ignore it. Um, yeah, and go forward from there. My biggest, I think the biggest damage threat, she's going to obviously do quite a bit of them. She's obviously going to qu hit quite hard, uh, and she's going to hit monstrously hard. Is it plus 10? Yeah, so plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, obviously. Uh, and these are obviously, well, they're pay to win units, so you got to kind of. Uh, limit what you have there. Uh, Chaos Manifestation. Blah, blah, and... Yeah, so this is, help, this is helpful for her, but since I'm running bulky. Okay, so let's consider what would be good to run here. So I could run this. Right. But they have, they don't have a whole lot of buffs. Uh, a lot of them are invisible buffs. So this is a good, this is again, this is another, this is something else that you want to consider. When you're building your defense team, you want to remember that um, like a verse is always a threat, regardless of the season. She, she's more common in one season over another sometimes. Um, but you always want to consider that they might have a Versa or a Iago is coming out now. Um, and, and like your, your, your units are going to be stuck together all the time, but it's usually what's most useful. Um, but in this case, there's only two units that have this, and it's just a fortify thing. So it's going to be hitting her, her, and her. And uh, this one, so here, here, and here, and then this one is hitting here and here. So everybody's ha has it except for her. Um, but what I'm saying is, 
it's all right. It's decent to have like something, maybe just one, uh, maybe two is a little much, but like one. That way, if they're reducing everything by six with the Versa, it's like only that stat. At least you're not losing like attack and a bunch of other stuff. But um, yeah, it's still. I wouldn't advise doing that personally. Like I, I, I try to avoid having any uh, visible buffs on my team, especially, especially because not only. Uh, is the Versa there? Uh, a lot of people running Panic. Like my my Tethys now has sudden Panic on her. Um, but also considering that how low skills are becoming more and more uh, useful, and and like you're starting to see them on more units, and a lot of builds run them anyway. Uh, it really just sort of negates that. Uh, but yeah, so. I might just run a Versa just because the Versa is dropping all their defense by 9. So she's at 35. She's at 24. Or not her, she'll be at 28 regardless. Or 25, I guess, in that sense. Um, so I think my, my entrance is going to be through here. I'm going to want to come here and then try to take her out. Um... The problem is, right, which one of these is the uh, the trap? Uh, alternatively, I think maybe just baiting baiting them out, uh, baiting them out, try to bait them out one at a time might be useful too. Um, so she'll come out here and try to hit whoever's here. She'll fly here, get danced, move here, and then hit me, and then maybe she'll get danced. This is always one of those things where it's like, well, what'll happen? Um, I don't know if my Boki can take all of this. Uh, she can probably take her. She's not going to be doing all that much damage. Um, I am going to get doubled, though. So that's something that's important to consider. He's He's got a lot of res, a lot of res, a lot of speed on all these units. And my Boki's at... Um, uh, 48 speed because of uh, Peony. Um... Something to consider might be running like this, because I, I, I do think you still get both of the blessings, right? You get four speed from both. Yeah, because I think you get the health. I mean, you get the health, but I don't know about. I don't remember if you get that. So I'm at 48. That puts me up to 52 speed. Um, but I'm losing out on a lot of other um, debuffs, so I think I might just go back to running this. I like the minus three to everything, and then making them more vulnerable. Um, these are maxed, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, so I really do want to just like put Boki here and then snipe her, uh, but this thing right here, uh, S is gonna kill me regardless. Uh, plus three attacks twice. She's forty six speed. Plus the eight from there, the three from there. She's at forty nine speed. She might even double for a quad. Uh, but I think the, the the my entrance here is gonna be like this side. Put Loki here and hit her. Um, I'm not sure she'll die, especially because again she's not getting this buff, so she's not getting aversed. Yeah, so this is a pretty smart move, is not having a Versa, not having her be vulnerable to a Versa on this end. Um, yeah, it's a it's a good defense. I like it. So, one of the things I'm having trouble with here is, like, I really do want to bring a Versa, but um, this seems like a pretty good situation to bring Micaiah into. She'll drop her by six, so she'll have be fifty-four and uh, forty-eight speed. Uh, let's see. But I really don't like these buffs being here, and I really, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with the Versa. Let's take her into this one. <sighs> okay, let's see. Um. So I'm going to wipe out all these buildings on this side here. Oh, let's put you back here. So I'm going to take out all these buildings here. 
Uh, there's really not a whole lot of reason to hit this considering I'm going to be going around this side, but uh, I'm better safe than sorry and it's not like it's going to bother anything. Hmm. I feel like I should utilize him more. Uh, so this is what he's running, he's running defense link. Um, and I gave him the res because he's got, he's like stacking defense from this uh, and this. So I was like, well, let's patch up his res. Um, he's he's going to be really strong in this scenario, but um, I think I'm good here. So let's move this here and see what happens. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. So uh, obviously she never had any defense to begin with. Uh, minus three, 25 defense, 43. What's my speed at? My speed is being blocked by this thing here, right? What's reducing my speed? It's only, and it's only my speed, so someone's got a chill speed. So that you've got the chill speed. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's not do that yet. Uh, can't really do anything with her. Oh, let's put her here. Actually, let's put you here. Hopefully nobody moves. All right. <laughs> um, put you there. I think this is going to go off next turn, right? So what's nice about this is it's going to hit her, which basically my point is to come in here and try to kill her. So maybe I can just... Uh, one shot her after this goes off, which I do need to boost this as you see he's only level three. But I can keep maybe I can just one shot her, um, get danced, and then try to hit her. Yeah, that might be what the plan is. So let's let's go with that. Uh, I mean, it'll be regardless as always. It'll be hard to kill her anyway. Um, Forty, fifty, yeah, see, 50, 57, 35 defense. So she's dropping nine because of the. Uh, the buff they put on. Okay, so they've been hit. Let's go in. Okay, so even with that, I can't kill her. Great. Um, I cannot speed her. I've only got 41 speed. So at this point, I'm considering hitting this and then dancing her to clear the buff to debuff and give her um, the peony buffs um, and then just from here move her here and then hit her because I think then I can kill her she's got 43 speed and none of these have um, fortify uh, she shouldn't have any goads right so they, they kind of relied on just having the the wards do all the tanking for them, but I think what I what, what what's kind of valuable about the goads is not just that you're getting attack, but goad also provides tankiness by giving you passive speed or, or invisible speed buffs, right? Non-visible speed buffs, um, which as always boosts your survivability because then you, you avoid getting doubled. But again, they patch that up by running a lot of uh, speed boons um, and just making sure that they have like really fast units at a basic level anyway. Um, but I think just just one, at least just one, uh, like her, like maybe not her, maybe her, or just having at least one unit with the uh, with the buff with the um, goad might have been uh, useful in this situation. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is actually hit this because this way they don't recover, and I have. As long as I don't get one shot, which I think I can avoid getting one shot. Nobody here has hardy bearing, which is, again, so this is a problem that I think, um, like, I, I try to address for that specific reason is that uh, nobody has hardy bearing. So, it, like, somebody will come hit me because I'll put her here and I think I'll dance her. Yeah, I think I'll dance her. So, put her here, maybe. So, this will do, if this is the trap, this will serve two purposes. I think it'll hit 
her and maybe like them two to reduce their HP, but it'll reduce her HP as well. Uh, which means uh, now I'm in vantage range, so that basically I can just one shot all the rest of these. I think I should be able to anyway. Uh, only 10 damage. It's very interesting. Uh, but I guess now the question is. Um, How do I go about this? Because if I put Peony uh, here or here anywhere, she's just gonna die. Um, what I, I guess what I can do is, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put put her here. See, pop this just to find out. I'll, I'll try to snipe this tower. Uh, if this isn't right, let's see. Yeah, pop this. Put her here. Pop this tower. Um, then. Man, imagine if I had uh, upgraded this. Anyway, uh, what is this? Yeah, I'd have to max it out. There's no way I'm maxing that. Um, put her here. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, Peony's range is too low. The one I really need to kill is going to be her. What if I... She doesn't have that. She's got that. Uh, and she's got this. Oof. This is a bit of a doozy here. Uh, what I'm thinking now is maybe like put her here. And then just let them all come attack her. Cause like she'll come in here. I think I might just be able to bait them out, but let's see. I think I might just have like a, a hit and run kind of thing going here. So I might just hit this block, uh, move a versa here, hit this block. Put her here, try to snipe that, see if it pops this. Um, then, regardless of what happens, move air here to reposition her here. To reposition Loki here. Then move her here to dance Loki. And then reposition uh, air behind Loki, and then everybody should be safe there. Um, yeah, so that sounds, what I'm, that sounds like what I might end up doing here. Let's see if this works. Again, this is a this is a time to experiment more than anything else, considering uh, I've already lost the um, the what's it called? Let's see, yeah, I've already I've already lost tier twenty seven. So it's you know let's just try things out for the future. Because what I'm what I'm curious about now is I wonder if they'll move if I pop this. They shouldn't move, right? And I should be safe just by retreating and all that stuff. But let's just see what happens. Okay, so that wasn't even fake, so let's do this. Let's put her in here. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, that's right, she has this, but uh, she has these boosts. Uh, so that wouldn't have worked if I, what I tried, what I wanted to do before where she was here, pop this and then just move her forward with the boosts. Uh, this only works because of this. It's very interesting. Uh, but let's just bring her back. Okay. Let's put you here for. I don't know. I don't really know what to do with this guy. Okay. So I have three turns left. So I need to make something happen. I guess my main concern is going to be like Minerva. She can hit pretty hard and she's going to be hard to kill. Like this one uh, is basically worthless. It's like she'll hit me twice, but she's only got 49 defense. I've got uh, 49 attack. And I've got 39 res. Um, she is fast though, and she's got a lot of stats from this. So maybe she, yeah, maybe I should be worried about that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You don't have anything, but you have this buff.
What I think what I'm going to do is maybe move air down here somewhere and then use her and then smite her forward here. Move here and then hit her. Ah, she's got Gale Force too. There's nothing I hate more on defense than Gale Force units. Not necessarily hard, they're just like annoying. You just look at them, you're like, oh, well, I guess I, I missed it. Let's flip her here, and then I'm wondering if uh, Air can do anything about this, which she probably can't. Minus seven, that chill speed is a real nasty one. Um, what I don't want to do is waste an attack, a waste a movement by not attacking. So what I could do is just put her here, and then dance her, and then um, have her hit that one. Because I can do well, I guess I'll just do that. Why not? Uh, well, I, the reason. Well, okay. So I'll put her here, dance her, and then go here and then hit her and kill her. Because well, I'm gonna put her here, put her here, move here, dance, move her here. So Aversa is gonna be right here, and she is gonna be right here. So she gets the Aversa buffs. Um. From uh her her goad here. Uh, then I'll be able to kill her because, like I like we saw last time, like if I stand here, I can kill her uh, with you know with the peony buffs too. Um, I can stand there and kill her. Um, so being here, I can kill her. Uh, then she's gonna come and hit me. She's gonna come and hit me. She's gonna come and hit me. Um, the problem is, so she's gonna come here and hit me. Um, she may or may not have. She's probably, well, and then she's going to die, right? Okay, so then her, or she, she's probably going to die, so she's not going to hit me. She's going to come over here, dan uh, not dance, but like, well, yeah, this is very interesting. I'm, now I'm curious to see how this is going to work out. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just do that. Uh, the one thing that worries me is putting Peony here might make her vulnerable to her. Like, she'll move here, and then she'll come over here and dance her, and then... To, she can stand here and and or she can stand here, so she won't be able to hit Peony regardless. But like, oh, how how are all these going to move? Um, but yeah, let's just do that. I think that's the best case scenario. Okay. So let's do this. So eighteen, eighteen. Okay. Okay, so I think I can, I, I, yeah, okay, so let's do this now. Uh, funnily enough, I wonder if he'll not die, so. Let's just move you out of the way, because she can move here. And then here, yeah, well, well, let's see how this goes. Uh, let's end turn, yeah, well, let's go back, let's see what she's got. 51 to 43 plus this, 51 gets you to 55. 55 to 47, I've got eight more speed than her, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, again, they've got a lot of ward stacking here, so let's just see how this ends up going. Okay, so I got debuffed, and she got danced. Okay, everybody's just moving around like idiots. Okay, cool. So, three damage, and just retaliate for a bunch, okay. Okay, and I'm gonna hit by her, cool. Uh, okay, there we go, perfect. Uh, so yeah, basically uh, how I uh, planned the whole thing out anyway. Um, so do you want him to go last or first? If you initiate a bonus to units 3 plus the number of allies who have already acted, so you want him, do you want him to go last? I kind of feel like just having uh, him go there. Uh, it's interesting, so... It's interesting to me that Minerva, they went with this... Um, 
deflect magic on her. Uh, primarily just because um, she's the idea is you want she's going to be so fast she's not going to get doubled by anything anyway. So it's sort of defeating. It's a sort of a defeated mentality to consider like, oh, I'm going to give her this because she's going to get follow up by a magic unit. When they're really like the only magic unit who's going to double you is going to be um, like Reinhardt. But he's blue. Um, and there are a whole lot of other, you know, like, uh, what's her name? Summer. What's her name? Summer. Summer Levitine? No, Summer Legarm. Summer Legarm is a blue mage who can double her. But again, she's blue, right? Um, so, like, you, they're not doing a whole lot on top of, like, how much ward stacking you're doing anyway. Um, so it's just weird that that's there. Um, if you're expecting not to get doubled, it's weird that uh, you have, like, a thing to prevent doubles. Um, I kind of want to just run Itsuki, put Itsuki up there somewhere, see if I, he can do something. But I think he's, he's just going to get doubled and probably end up dying anyway. Uh, 22... This is kind of risky. Well, let's just put you here and hit her. Oh, okay, well, so it was fake. Everything on this side was fake, which I would have thought everything on that side should have been real, considering this is where your weak side is. The fact that, um, what's her name? Like I, get, like I said, to me, it seems the person who was right here, which was uh, Est, was his anchor. That one should have been what was the strongest, but because that person died and like people couldn't fly her formation around her, so if she had survived, if it was Minerva, she had survived, uh, what's her name? Like, if S was over here, she could have flyer formation here and then just hit her, right? And then she could have flyer formation here and hit her, and then everybody else could have, like, scattered around. So this is why I think the anchor position is very important, especially on a flyer ball when you're running uh, flyer formation on everybody. The person at the anchor position needs to survive, because if they die the way S died there, um, then your ability to swarm and kill the attacker just kind of goes away. So they all kind of fell apart. She, she died... These two, like, she danced these two, they, like, did whatever Yoon's do, and then Yoon came over here and they just killed themselves on me, which just happened, right? But she came here, she had to move here and, and attack, and then she died. Uh, and then she had nothing to do, so she just stood here, which is the problem, because she can't attack, she can't do anything, she just stood here. Um, but yeah, personally, I think this was lost by, again, the anchor position, which, which is why I'm so, uh, why I like running Camilla there, someone more tanky on both ends of the spectrum. Um, but yeah, uh, ideally though, I, I guess like wherever Est was is where it was the problem, which is why I pushed my flyer ball all the way to the wall. Uh, that way it's like hard for them to come out this way. And in Lost Castle, you have that one block here and then the fortress here. So they can't come through this way, which was the problem with this one. I could either come through this side that I did come through, or I could have come through this side. Um, but yeah, if you had like the, the two blocks here, you can only come through this side. And if you know where they're coming from, even if there's those two defensive tiles, just knowing where they're coming from and knowing your anchor position is going to survive um, enables a whole lot of other things for the rest of your team. But yeah, again, that's that's just me. Uh, I think what's missing here... Is this the right season? I don't remember. Oh yeah, we're not in Astra. Yeah, so yeah. Just uh, to something to consider. Uh, so let's just hit her. Uh, move you here. Let's hit this. Just for the sake of it, really. Put you there. Put you here. Uh, I feel like just giving it to it Itsuki. Oh, you can't even kill her. Thanks, Itsuki. I guess I'll just do it with Boki. Mm. And that's game. So that flyer ball was pretty decent. I liked it, but uh, for one, like, again... A lot of the what, what made it easy to beat were things that I had incorporated into my um, to my defense um, that this person did not consider. So let's go take a look again, just for the sake of one last calculation here. Uh, I am at 120. Yeah, so that's what I what I had said. I was uh, 13, 120. I can only get 160 out of this next one, which boosts me up to uh, 280, which puts me 120 shy. Uh, yeah, 120 shy. Um, so yeah, let's uh, just get in there. Um, it's always nice to showcase um, good gameplay anyway. So, uh, well, I mean, decent gameplay. I mean, I don't mean to like 
be overconfident in that sense. But uh, I think that the way I handled that last one was pretty good, especially how well set up that defense team was. I really enjoyed that, uh, and I was glad to share it with all of you there. Um, as well, like it was good for like for one, it was, it was interesting to, to fight against, but it was also good for like teaching and, and sort of reinforcing some of the things I said in my uh, in my video. Um, so yeah, uh, I think Aversa or not Aversa. I think uh, let's well let's see what we have here. You've got no. This is very interesting. To just kind of put her here just for the sake of it. Uh, do you have nobody has infantry pulse? Infantry pulse would be pretty decent here. I mean. You're not running like an infantry pulse team, but like it'd be pretty cool to to see that. Okay, so this right here, I already right off the bat, I know this is going to be a huge problem to get over. Um, yeah, 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 yep, yep. This is this is not that's not good. Uh, this isn't going to be so bad. I see a lot of people running uh, res or plus res or plus defense on the on the bow here, uh, specifically with Norn. Uh, but in that case, I personally enjoy running a plus speed because the speed is what she's lacking. Uh, you can patch these two up with other, like, just make sure she doesn't get, I don't know. I, I use her on, on, on offense, which means you can kind of pick your moments with her, but, uh, well, I, I intend to, um, which means you can pick your moments with her a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, like, I'd prefer to have speed because that's the one thing she lacks is, is a lot of speed. Attack defense, so yeah, so this one, I mean, she's gonna be annoying too, but I think, uh, yeah, she's gonna be pretty annoying. Uh, but they have got all everybody here has invisible buffs, which is gonna suck. Uh, the Brammy Mond is always an irritation. Um, do you have so she doesn't have so basically these two are free here. Uh, he's gonna she's gonna counter me with effective damage, which is for one, it's pretty good because it just basically means that, um, my bow key will now be in vantage range, um, but I don't think it's going to be very useful in this situation just because how much damage these people are putting out and how uh, tanky some of it. So her, she's she's you know vantaging her is not going to work. Uh, vantaging her is obviously not going to work. Vantaging him probably, um, which is why I like to run um, that one artifact, uh, whatever the uh, sacred seal. Um, I mentioned it in the last one too. I can't remember what it is. Hardy bearing, which is why. I, Hardy Baron would be pretty good on Bramimon, but uh, to each throne. Uh, so in this case, I think what I'm just going to do is pop this, put Loki here, and then hit her. Uh, she should still die regardless. If foe initiates combat, so I'm initiating combat. So regardless, I'm going to hit. I'm going to get hit by this. So you know, it is what it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is is come here, hit her. Uh, he is going to stand, he's going to move here and then hit me here, but I'm just going to, like, leave. Wow, that's a lot of attack. Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty nice. I like it. Um, actually, yeah, so I, I might just leave him. Can I get, I need to get uh, 41 plus 17 is 51, 58. I need to get 58 damage to one-shot him, which I don't think is possible. I don't think I'll be able to do it. Especially with all whatever this is that's going on, gives him more defense, so he's not this untanky. Uh, See, so yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to one-shot him. I, I really doubt it, so I probably just want to play that safe here. Uh, this is here is hitting these two, which are the two most problematic units. Like he is problematic, of course, um, but that's he's problematic if you intend on tanking him, which I obviously do not. So, um, 60, 70, 80. Yeah, I was 20 shy of another attack. 20 shy, 165, so I was 120 away. So yeah, so I, somewhere in there I, I played a map. I think I did, and I remember a couple. I might have been a couple where I didn't get the Aether Pots, which is what ended up costing me. If I know that, if I had three third, if I had perfected this one and I had two more Aether Pots, I would have had another attack. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, no, no use in like... Um, we're getting stuff like that anyway. Uh, so let's come in here. So Aversa would be kind of useful because she's got uh, whatever's going on here, the plus five attack. But I mean, it's only hitting her and her, I think, right? Because this is just, uh, yeah. It's only hitting these two. So it's not really that worth it, especially because I have to take this out. What I think I'm going to do though, oh, actually, yeah, this is, this is a lot better. I think I'm going to bring, ugh. It's hard to 
So I think I'm gonna bring her uh, because uh, basically it, give, it gives me the kill on these two as well as like the kill on him. So I think if I if I bring her here and I kill her, um, I activate her ability here. He will come here and then try to hit her. But hopefully I get knocked down in advantage range because she can vantage me before uh, she reduces because I have a bow, which is what she's effective against. Uh, so hopefully I get down to vantage range. He comes to hit me and I hit him before doing uh, 50. Well, actually this is plus three, right? Plus five. So he has 22 defense. 22 plus this is 63. So he has 60. I need to hit him for 63 damage. Um... Yeah, so I need to hit him for 63 damage. Uh, and I think I think that's doable with Micaiah's duo skill. Uh, and again, so like this one, if, if he ends up losing, we'll talk about this again at the end, but if he ends up losing, this will be lost on the fact that he did not have um, the duo's hindrance thing, which I think is uh, valuable to have. Uh, let's see. So let's, let's think about a few other things here. What I find most interesting now is I think I can pop this and pop this and then just run up here and hit her as well. Uh, and then, again, maybe activate uh, her ability here to hit all these four. So that when she comes to hit me, I'll hit her back. I'll probably vantage her with the um, dominance effect. Uh, and then him too. And these two, I can deal with them later. Hopefully, anyway. Um, but yeah, if not, I'll probably just kill her with like Peony because she's not, she doesn't, she's not effective against uh, magic users and well, she's got a pretty decent res, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, she's also granting attack. Oh, she's granting attack to him, her, her and her, her and him, which again, I think I can take him out with, um, the dominance effect anyway, with just one shot. Um, but that's of course going to be risky. Um... The problem with this is there's no debuffs on anybody other than what um, she she puts like a minus seven uh, defense res defense uh, defense res um, debuff on them. So it's her, it's her. Yeah, I might really have to like. This is bad. This is very strong, um, especially like forty seven defense. Hmm. Yeah. 47 defense. And I can't outspeed her either. She's too fast. I'm just going to have to use it. So I think, yeah, okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait till turn three where this burns both of these. Uh, and then just pop her. Um, see where that goes. Uh, especially because they, they, they really blocked her off. So what I can do is just put, just stand here. And hit her, and then like bring air here, and then reposition her, and then I'm I'm safe. Nothing nothing's gonna hit me anymore. I can't like I can't get hit by anything, which is it feels like a pretty big design flaw. But I think uh, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go with that. Let's um yep let's these three yep this okay okay then so yeah I think this is this is uh pretty good um i could even like i could move here yeah i think that's what i'm just going to do um uh, let's make sure you're around here somewhere yeah so that's just what i'm gonna end up doing Uh, there's no real reason to do what I'm doing here, but I'm just I just want to see. Actually, I do I do fare pretty well against her. I think um, she's taking a minus seven from the chill here. Uh, somebody should have had uh, chill speed, but I'm kind of stupid. So there's there's that. Um, but yeah, so obviously this is I don't want to. Well, should I do it now? Because uh, I can just pop it right now and then have these guys get affected by it. 
Um, and hit her. That's very interesting. So she's got minus seven plus the seven. So she's, I'm gonna hit her for twenty one, which is what uh, I get from there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is hold off though, because I really do want to hit this healing tower. Because this healing tower serves no purpose, because I can stand here and pop the healing tower, and it, all it does is gives him one more movement. So she can stand here and hit this spot and this spot, and he can stand here and hit this spot and this spot. Um, which doesn't change anything, because now it's still going to be the same. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, next turn, I'm going to move her up here, hit that, bring her, uh, flip her around this way. Um, and then let my bolt tower do that, and then go forward from there. So we'll, we'll do that. Okay, that's still well. Actually, that's oh, okay. So so this time they got uh, they. Oh, I'm getting debuffed, or no, I don't have the buffs. Sorry, I don't have the buffs from her to boost me over the top there. Um, I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Let's be her. Uh, so let's do this. So let's pop the healing tower. See, so I can do this, and we're all safe, right? So he can't really move anywhere extra than what he be, used to be able to. Um, I think I'm just going to wait. Uh, da, da, da. The only so the only thing that worries me here is going to be oh so this this doesn't work because he has three uh, infantry units so it only hits her so these are the only two people benefiting from that which they were already benefiting from this so this is just might have been just been like a mistake they made or something but yeah that's that's kind of funny uh, let's get him I'm gonna get him to start working on this so that make it easier for her to just come in here and uh, sweep him. Uh, okay. So next turn, I'm going to put her here and then uh, activate this, put her here, and then kill her. Uh, and then flip her back and then have her dance her and have her start working on getting ready to kill this guy here. Uh, and turn, and turn, and turn. I really do need to upgrade this. Um, so everybody's where I want them to be, and let's just, since I'm not doing anything with Peony here, let's just have her, uh, dance this guy here. Okay, so let, there you go. Okay, turn three. So I might just be able to kill her. Oh no, I still can't, uh, can you kill her? No, you can't kill her. Wow, so even with a 20, I think if I had 30, I still wouldn't be able to kill her. So yeah, she'd have like 4 HP left. That's pretty interesting. What do you have? You have Aegis. This is a very interesting build. I don't know what's going on here. Ooh, that's a very good one. Uh, deflect magic. But I think the, his problem is you can just one-shot him with, like, her. So the, the follow-up isn't that important. Uh... So he's undoubtedly going to kill me because he gets the force double for 70 and he gets five more attacks. He's got 75 attack. I'm just sort of debating whether or not I should just like end turn with uh, Boki here, but yeah, she won't be able to survive whatever this guy's uh, dishing out. So I'm going to do this just for the sake of doing it. Wow, I still can't kill her. I'm just gonna have to burn this, I guess. Okay, so she's got 45 res. This guy, oh, he doesn't have the... You really do want that on him. I don't know why he took it off, but you really do want that to make sure you, you don't get stuck with stuff like that. Um, I 
So now I'm curious because I might just be able to like so he'll double it'll force this will force the double. So this will force the double for him. So he'll come in here and hit me. It'll force the double. But I get to a counterattack before he gets the second attack off. So if I can kill him before that second attack hits, uh, then I'm that's that's me solid. Especially, let's see, I've got 53. Spent the bow gives me seven more, so I'm at 60 attack. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Is that it? Yeah, so I've got 60 attack plus... Okay, not plus nothing there. Uh, 60 attack plus... No, that's it. 60 attack. 60 attack plus the 14 from this dominance effect. Let's actually just read this. Okay, so this is true damage. So it deals additional damage. Um, so I'm going to hit him for 60. So 50 because of this. So 45 because of this. So I'm hitting him for 45, which is still good. Plus the 14 on top of that, which is 60 something. Um, during combat. Okay, so he, she, I don't get any uh, goads or anything, so that wouldn't have mattered anyway. Um, yeah. She has this, which is pretty irritating. Uh, it basically means my defense is back to 34, so I'm at 31 defense, and she, but she's not fast enough to double me or anything anyway. I actually think I'm just going to stick with this here. So she's done her job, so let's just move her. I guess she's just like that. Let's see if I, let's see, again, like I'm not gonna make it to your 27, so let's just take a look at what happens here. So 29. Okay, and then I get the dominant, okay, so there we go. Get reset, that doesn't matter, but 39, wow, I barely killed her. Uh, that lull is not is, uh, no joke there. Uh, these two didn't move because they can't do anything anyway. Um, so let's just hit, have you hit her. Wow, that's crazy. 60, 65. Is there any way I can give her more attack? Holy shit. So 37. So I think with this, he should be dead. Oh, that's why. He has um, his Fallen Shield. I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, basically, it just means I can do this anyway. So that's fine. Uh, I can hit this. How many turns do I have left? Four? I got plenty of turns. Um, I can hit this. So my issue is going to be... Yeah, let's just do this. Okay, so they, they can stand there. So I can kill. So I can't kill her. I can. I have 53 damage. So yeah, I can just do this, right? I can kill her. She's going to come hit me. But I ha I'm in vantage range. Am I? Oh, maybe I should check that. Uh, I've, that's killed me before. Uh, vantage range is 75%. So basically, 10% of 62 is 6.2, 20% of 60 is 12.4. Uh, that's that's 20% is 12.4. Uh, half of is 3.1. 12.4 plus 3.1 is 15. Oh shit! Uh, wait, 4.15. So 15.5. So 62 minus. 10 is 42, uh, 52, uh, minus 5 is 47, okay, so 46, I'm under 46, so, okay, I have vantage on her, let's see if this bites me in the ass, this will be really funny, um, okay, ah, yes, okay, cool. So as always, like I said, you really do want to run a unit with hardy bearing. Um, that wouldn't have won this person, right? Uh, that, but it's still important to have it on someone um, because there's really no seal you can run that's going to give you such a huge advantage. Uh, where hardy bearing just literally stops. It doesn't really, you know, stop the whole strategy. I mean, we're still going to play around it, but the the amount of like. 
pressure you get from having somebody with hardy bearing is is just it's too good to really like to to pass up i think personally but yeah so uh if this is a regular match i probably um so i missed it by 107 actually uh if this is a regular match i would have uh taken those aether pots but again so if i had gotten them only up to a plus 30 here uh, it wouldn't be very, very very useful and i just would have taken a little bit longer and i just didn't really feel like doing that considering this is already like an hour long recording um but yeah so that's where we are this week um i think i did pretty well this week uh unfortunately i still didn't make tier 27 i think i uh i missed a few things here and there and um you know ends up trickling down uh costing you a lot later um but yeah so let's see uh, check rewards. Uh, so this is my my tier. Let's go take a look at my rank really quickly. So again, I'm always perpetually here. Um, I still have yet to get this red chair, which is uh, there. It's fine. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm usually in these top two. Uh, but I think with uh, some changes to my defense, pretty good. And now, for those of you who, and most of you already know, you probably logged in. Uh, the Lelina banner. The Lelina banner is back. Summer Lelina. So finally, uh, I have a chance to get the Broadleaf fan. Hopefully, I pull one. Uh, I'll be able to get a few more orbs between uh, before this ends. Uh, basically, this is the last banner I really need to pull on ever. Um, obviously, there'll be banners in the future and so on and so forth. But like, in terms of stuff I need, this is going to be like, I'm I, I don't foresee myself pulling on any more banners until something like I actually care about comes out. Um, yeah. So. Also, that basically just means that, uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to pull on this banner, um, which kind of sucks, because even if uh, I pull her early and I have, like, a few orbs, for one, you really want to go in with, like, three or 400 orbs to get the unit you want, which, you know, always keep that in mind. Uh, it appears to rates of garbage. Um, but also, I feel like pulling more than one. Now, personally, I am only going to give it to... Ally, where are you? Uh, learn skills. I'm only going to give it to Felicia. Um, just because Felicia is just so bad. She she needs that to patch it up. But, like, she's one of the only units that I'm choosing in terms of, like... Yeah, like, she's one of the only units I'm choosing because I like the unit. Um, in other cases, like, if I build another one... Like, let's say I build Kagero, if I decide to build Kagero. If I, I will build Kagero because I like her dagger and what she what comes with her, um, what she has. Um, so, at this, like, basically what I'm saying is that the subsequent, any subsequent dagger unit I end up making uh, will be made off of more substantial decision making rather than just, I, I like that unit. Um, so if I end up choosing Kagero, it'll be because of that, so I won't, won't replace her dagger, right? So it's her... Uh, the only other unit I'm using is going to be a Thame uh, Cronia here, and obviously, like you're using her because of the Athame dagger. Um, otherwise, I mean, there's no really because basically, if I have Broadly Fan on two units, the units become irrelevant because Broadly Fan is so powerful that like you're not using. Oh, I'm using Felicia, and she's got Broadly Fan. No, no, no. you're using Broadly Fan, and you just happen to be using it on Felicia, um, which is the, the strength of Broadly Fan is that. Uh, it doesn't really matter what unit you're using it on. It's going to be very powerful regardless. Um, but yeah, so... Like I said... It'll be a good idea to summon more than one just for like the future. But from where I'm standing now, I really don't see like a whole lot of reason to. like. There's not going to be another unit that I'm just going to like build and then just give her Broadly Fan. Because Broadly Fan basically overwrites the unit. As much as I like Felicia, um, it's kind of dumb to be putting broadly fan on them because you're just overriding them like you're not winning you're not winning aether raids that season because of lalina or because of um felicia or anything like that or whatever unit you're you're going with it's it's, it's broadly fan it's so oppressively powerful that um yeah just overshadows a unit completely um but yeah so that's that um as always well not as always it'll be the first time but uh Leave any comments, any questions, or anything. Um, I'll try to answer them. But again, most of the time, I will defer most people to Acarus. But uh, if you feel like asking me anything, not that I'm particularly knowledgeable or anything, but uh, if you maybe want to cross-reference something or, or get a second opinion on something, um, by all means, 
uh, ask away in the comments section, especially now because I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, so like I'll be able to see every comment. Um, but uh, yeah, not that this matters anyways. Nobody makes it past like five minutes in the video for some reason, which is kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, so that that'll be it for today. This uh, this whole season, I guess.